Africa, which is one of the world's largest butterflies. He's quite small at the moment, he's got a fair way to go before he uh, pupates, he can be a lot bigger than that. What I like about him is he looks like he's been made up of spare parts from other caterpillars. Yeah, he's dead cool. You going to say hello to Live Leak for us? These are Siberian owl moths. And you get these in Russia, China, down through South Asia. And uh, judging by the way this one's tearing through this leaf, you would not want them in your garden. Look at that, gardener's worst nightmare. And here's the serial killer's favourite, the death's head hawk moth. This is a giant peacock moth caterpillar. That's uh, Europe's biggest moth. And if you look, you see those little bubbles on it are blue. And if you look at the other one, they're purple because they change colour every time they molt. This is a younger one. And that's an older one. And the only pretty thing about this next guy is his name. This is a Chinese tree of heaven silk moth. There's a face only a mother could love. I do like the way he walks though. The back pair of legs move first, then the next, and so on until it reaches the front, then it starts all over again. He is an ugly bastard though. And so to my personal favourite, and definitely the scariest of the bunch, this is the Chinese oak moth. Now apart from his size and weight, he doesn't look that bad, does he? However, if we take a look at his brothers and sisters from a different angle, evil looking buggers, aren't they? They're just the stuff of nightmares. Yeah, look at the chompers on that. Lastly, we have these lime hawk moths, which are found throughout most of the northern hemisphere. And as a grand finale, one of them will perform his widely renowned and critically acclaimed impersonation of a one-eyed trouser snake. Take it away, George. 